Oh, there we go, there we go. Money shot, money shot. Aww. How is the duck confit? So good. <laughs> Worth the hype, people. Here it is. Good morning. Well, I mean, it's late morning. It is 10.57. It is October 5, Saturday. <laughs> We're almost done with our first week here in London and I am heartbroken about it. But anyway, enough about the uh, emotional breakdown. We are currently chilling. We're going to meet Moriel in Covent Garden in a bit. We're going to do a vintage flea market and then we're not too sure yet because based off of the itinerary that I made, we were supposed to go to Notting Hill Portobello Market today at the Notting Hill Bookstore and Blue Door. So we're gonna see if she's game to do that with us because she stays in Notting Hill. We're also gonna have lunch with her. Today is just a chill day. We're not gonna be doing anything special, no tours or whatever, because tomorrow, Sunday, is our Stonehenge Bath and Windsor tour. Unfortunately, supposedly going to rain tomorrow. I'm sad about that. Yeah, it's supposed to rain the whole day. A few moments later. We are here. We are on our way to Covent Garden again. We've been going to Covent Garden <laughs> every single day. So kung so na po kami. Any hoosin, Google Maps is making us take another route. It's making us explore different ways to get to the same place, which I kind of like because then it gives us more time to really sightsee. I personally really, really want to go to Notting Hill because don't you guys want to see the bookstore? Yeah. I'm just a girl standing in front of a book asking him to love her. Oh. And of course, the famous blue door. It's nice and cool today, no rain, praise God. Trina is brave in the cold in, wait for it, bare legs. I don't know how she does it. I'm wearing a MAC lip liner. I forget the name. I'll leave it in the description box. But I'm also using one of the new Generation Happy Skin Lip Tints by Catherine Bernardo. So good. Perfect for the burr months and for fall. <laughs> yes. Just thought I would tell you guys about it because it's really nice. Very comfortable. I'm also using a little bit of it on my cheeks. I'll leave it linked in the description box. Thank you Teresa and to Happy Skin for sending over the new collection. I love Generation Happy Skin. Really great quality quality products, great price, and they're super easy to use and to travel with. She is our Londoner slash guide. Oh <laughs> yeah, she's our guide for today. So we're gonna go to the vintage fair. And then after that, we're gonna grab lunch. Yeah, and, and then Borough Market. And Borough Market. And then we're gonna check out Notting Hill later on the afternoon. Hopefully it's died down a little bit. She so got me a birthday gift. <laughs> Thank Happy you. Happy birthday. I already know Trina was like, she's gonna, gonna be your friend. We're literally just following Marielle because we have no idea where we're going. <laughs> I actually don't know where we're going. Oh, that's, that's comforting. It's where they have the first Cheese bar. Oh, cheese, cheese bar. Cheese bar. Oh, dang. Oh my god. How nice. Because this is so cute already. Oh my. So, this is Seven Dials Market and it just opened. And it is the cutest food market ever. There's a cheese bar. Oh, there's a famous cheese bar that Marielle was talking about. Tastes like London. Cool. Are you having fun so far? Uh-huh. Yeah. The big shot. Coffee. Coffee and donuts. The best combination. Claw. This is the cheese bar. This is the one you see on Facebook. Oh my god, it's literally just cheese. On a conveyor belt. That is so cool. Oh, and that's the cue for it? It's vegan tacos. Looks cool, right? Maybe we can come back here for like a quick bite.
So that was Seven Dials London. It just opened. So there are different food stalls inside, like different cuisines, different dishes, and it looks really cool. The only thing that people are queuing for though is that cheese bar that Muriel was talking about. And it's literally like, you know those conveyor belts of sushi, except it's all cheese. That sounds like the perfect restaurant mall. Look at the queue for the vintage market. Are you serious? It came from Berlin, so that's why it's quite popular. Uh-huh. Whoa, that's the queue though. Mom's getting some cashews. You are so cute, Mom. Ooh. Thank you very much. They've got some caramel apples as well and like strawberries. No, I'm good, Mom. How are the cashews? Really? Are they like caramelized? Yes, right. It's like peanut brittle. So we're in Ben's Cookies now here in Covent Garden and yes, they're already open in the Philippines, I know, but I didn't want to try it back home. I wanted to try it here because they're originally from here. Morielle's in charge of picking our flavors. Dark chocolate, triple chocolate chunk. Oh my and gosh. I like white chocolate. Gosh, they look good. Is there like chocolate orange? orange. Oh my god, yes, sold. <laughs> Thank you, Muriel, for the treat! Oh, I'm so excited. This smells so good. I got the orange and milk chocolate cookie. What did you get? Dark chocolate. How is it? Mom has nuts. Yeah. How exciting. How exciting. <laughs> Muriel got white chocolate. I know. Is that your favorite? Yeah, that's my favorite. My first ever Ben's cookie. Mm -hmm. It's Terry's chocolate orange. Worth the hype, people. <laughs> There's the shard. Whoa. Do you see it, mom? Walking to Borough Market for lunch. There are a lot of great food stalls there that we're gonna check out. It's a huge food market, so that's very exciting. And we've also got Muriel's flatmate. This is Sophia. Apparently there's a game. I don't know if it's football or if it's rugby, but people are going crazy. That's what we're lining it's up good, for. Right? We're super fun! Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so we're at our first stop in Borough Market. It's called... Pronounce that for me. Uh, Kappa... Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it. Kappa. No. Apparently it's the famous raclette place. Famous yeah. cheese place and the queue is insane. I want to get it with pickles. Sophia is the one who said that we have to have it here. She disappeared. Where'd she go? Getting her mom. She's getting her mom. Oh my gosh! Oh, oh, there we go, there we go. Money shot, money shot. Oh. This is it. Do you want black pepper? Yes, please. Pickles? Lots of pickles. Ooh. Here it is our raclette dish. It's our first borough market dish. Potatoes, salt, pepper, raclette cheese, and some pickles. Mom, that looks amazing. Let's all try it. Oh my gosh. Go mom. Go first. It's okay. Well, so good. <laughs> For this. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. It's salty. Girl, A plus for you. Mr. Please, right? Yeah, do you like my food?
Prosecco spritzer. Mom's gonna try the Prosecco. Yeah. So good. <laughs> Mom's like, I wish I could drink alcohol because it's really yummy. It is good. We are now lining up for the chorizo, chorizo sandwich. <laughs> That looks amazing. Thank you. This is the chorizo sandwich with rocket and peppers and olive oil. <laughs> try it, try it, try it. Go. What? You haven't eaten? <laughs> that. Duck confit, try it. How is the duck confit? 10 out of 10 would recommend. How is it? <laughs> try what first? Duck. How's the duck? No? <laughs> I'll allow you a sip. <laughs> Lining up for the mussels and chips, which we're also going to try. Trina is looking at the different cans of boba now. I think I'm breaking out. Borough Market is so busy right now. I'm guessing it's because it's the weekend. But so far, we've had a drink and two dishes. We're so excited. We're still gonna try a bunch of other stuff. The day is still young. If you are a foodie, make Borough Market your stop. Listen, it literally tastes like apple pie. Right? What sorcery is this? It's like their version of mulled wine for autumn. These are the famous Borough Market mussels. It's good for one. <laughs> Hello. Oh no. Got some pims. Thank you. Paella from Mama. Oh my gosh, that's delicious. How's the paella? After a crazy few hours in Borough Market, so crowded, tons of people, we're now making our way to Portobello Market, Portobello Rose Market, whatever. We're in Notting Hill. Mom and I are doing a bit of shopping. We don't know where the rest of the group went, but that's okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. It's, it's so nice and quaint here, no ma? I know. I know. Ah, oh, super cute. There's so many things to see. Yeah, we'll buy them. <laughs> oh, it's a dog cane. <laughs> Housework can't kill you. <laughs> but why take a chance?
We've been walking down Portobello Road Market and there's so many different shops here so literally everything you could possibly want from fruit and veg to vintage clothes to antiques to jewelry there are even some vintage bags vintage coats it's so lovely and further down the road is the Notting Hill bookshop that's what we're trying to get to oh it's just so nice I mean okay part of the experience is like all of the tourists and since we came in the afternoon some of the places have already started packing up but it's still really nice it's very different from Fitzrovia and from Borough Market as well what's so nice about London is every single part is so different from the other so it's like when you travel to a certain place it's really a whole new experience all of this are just like food so like little booths so, oh, there's even a cinema, mom. Electric cinema. cinema. And then you've got like actual shops. Look at how big the peppers are. Oh my god. Look at those peppers. Goldsmith vintage. It's the famous Notting Hill bookshop. We're currently inside the Notting Hill bookshop and we're getting books. I think I'm going to get this one. It says Poems to Live Your Life by. Thank you. <laughs> so we finished up at the Notting Hill bookshop. We're now in this cafe called Mike's having tea. And then we're gonna go to the famous blue door, take a couple of pictures there, and then go back to the apartment. It's Sophia and her mom left, but Muriel is still here. Last woman standing. We've got a fire. I'm having some British tea, guys. I'm gonna put some milk. <laughs> Oh, so good. The famous Notting Hill Blue Door. In case you wanted to know, it's right beside Starbucks. Here it is. Or I'll leave it. Where? Oh, I miss kebab. We just took pictures. According to some locals, they actually sold the real blue door and they gave the proceeds to charity, which is lovely if you ask me, but that isn't the original blue door of Notting Hill. At least it was sold for a good cause. That basically wraps up our entire Notting Hill experience. We're just gonna pass by and look for the stall that had all these olives that mom wants to buy and the Turkish jewelry shop at the start of Portobello. Room. We're gonna check those out and then we're gonna head back to the flat. It is what time is it? Like six o'clock. We're making good time. After this, we're gonna head back to the flat because we've got an early day tomorrow. And Trina and I have to study how to get to the meeting point for the Stonehenge during the day. I just opened the gift that Moriel and Richel gave me. Joe Malone poppy and barley cologne and it smells amazing. Thank you, Moriel. Thank you, Richel. So thoughtful. What a great birthday gift. Thank you.